Namaste and welcome back to the series on uh, breast surgery. I've gotten a lot of requests uh, to do videos on reduction mammoplasty. Now I can understand why because during my PG days I had absolutely no idea what was going on when I assisted these surgeries and though I have seen quite a few it took me quite some time to actually understand the process of it. So I'm going to try and uh, break it down into different parts and terminologies so that it's a little easier to understand. So now why is there so much confusion on breast reduction or reduction mammoplasty? Because there are a lot of things to consider. Now when we see this topic, we get confused with what is the pedicle, which is the incision, what is the marking, what is the pattern of this technique, what is the final scar, and there are various author names also associated with all these procedures. So what we're going to do is see uh, bit by bit of all these terminologies. And to understand that, we need to go back to our basics. And the basics of these surgeries is definitely the vascularity on which all the pedicles are based. So just a quick recap on the vascularity in case of uh, breast surgery. So we all know that the most important blood supply is through the internal mammary artery that is 60% of the blood supply comes from the IMA also known as the internal thoracic artery which is a branch of the subclavian artery. From this artery the second and the third perforators are the main ones that supply the breast. As you can see if we consider this as the midline the main supply of the breast is coming from the superior and medial side of the breast. Then we see that towards the inferior pole, we have this anastomosting network which comes from the medial as well as the lateral side and this comes mainly from the intercostal arteries and the contribution on the lateral side which is given mainly by the intercostal vessels from the third to the six spaces comes from the posterior intercostal vessels. And on the lateral side, the contributing vessels are from the axillary artery, which give the branches like the lateral thoracic and the thoracoacromial branches. Now, all of these obviously form a very rich anastomoting plexus below the nipple areolar complex, and the main supply to the NAC is via this anastomosis in the subdermal plexus. So, now when we see about the different type of pedicles, the pedicles are on which the vascularity of the nipple areola complex will reside. Now obviously our main aim of breast surgery is to create a good shaped breast, a full, full looking younger breast. But obviously we are most concerned about the vascularity of the nipple areola complex and the sensation that it provides. And obviously in females who are also looking to lactate in the future that is given consideration. So that's why all the techniques are described around this basis of vascularity and that's why different pedicles which carry the blood supply in them are used for various techniques. So depending on that which are the different types of pedicles that we know of. Okay so when we talk about the superior medial or the superior technique that means the blood supply is going to come from the superior side or it is going to come from the superior medial side. So this is on which the blood supply of the nipple areola complex is going to rest. So if the supply is coming from all the superior vessels then it is going to be the superior pedicle technique. If it is going to be in a superior medial direction it is going to be the superior medial pedicle technique. Now if we see the inferior pedicle technique which is one of the most popular techniques even today then the nipple areola complex is on the inferior pedicle that means it is surviving on blood vessels that are mainly coming from the inferior pole of the breast. Similarly if we see from the lateral side we are going to get perforators from the lateral side and the blood supply and sensation is going to survive on this pedicle. Now if we consider a bile pedicle technique 
that means if the nipple areola complex survives on blood supply from the medial as well as the lateral side it is going to be a bipedical technique this was one of the oldest described techniques and it is not popularly used now and finally if we consider the subdermal plexus and all the vessels around the nac we will have a periareolar technique that means we are going to take some contributions from all the sides now in those cases where the breast is very large and it is the reduction is going to be so big and the length of the pedicles would be so long that they cannot support the nac then in those cases a free nipple areolar graft is used which is going to take up like any other graft and in that case we don't consider the pedicles so that was the consideration on the different pedicles now what are the different scars what is the incision and what is the pattern that we used is what we are going to see next so the most popular one that you would have heard of is the wise pattern technique which was popularized by wise and it is still very popular because it is highly reproducible and it can be used for breasts of different shapes and sizes so this technique the wise technique is also known as the keyhole pattern technique so in this case the type of incision that is given around the nac is in this shape so there is going to be like a semicircular shape two vertical limbs two horizontal limbs which are then connected at the level of the infra mammary fold therefore the final scar pattern that you would get would be in the form of an inverted t or an anchor shape hence these are the different terminologies that are used for the wise pattern breast reduction technique very popular these days is the vertical scar technique in which case two dome like patterns are used around the nac so this is also known as the lollipop technique or the vertical scar technique because in this case the final scar that we get is in the form of a j shape or a vertical scar and the complete scar in the region of the imf is missing and that is actually an advantage of this technique so the donut type of technique or the peri areolar type of technique in which the incision is made only all along the nac region and there are no vertical or horizontal rims limbs extending into the region of the imf is known as the peri areolar scar technique so you can use any of these incisions or scars depending on the size and shape of the breast and the type of reduction you're trying to achieve and then these different patterns are combined with the different type of pedicles that we have seen initially again depending on the shape and the size of the breast